Howdy, but welcome back. Hello. <coughs> welcome back. Welcome, welcome back. Yeah. <laughs> Iron, uh, where are you? Like, are you are, are you staying close to them? Mm, let's say I'm near the door. Near the door. Okay. To the temple. To whatever room you all are in. Okay. Okay. So, as you are all having this lovely conversation with them, um, <clears throat> there are some hand signals exchanged again. And Alisaria uh, kind of looks toward you, Antinima. Was it only the two of you that came here? Well, yes. <laughs> well, deception uh, check. Fuck y'all. Well, I'm deception just kidding. check. You gotta roll deception. Huh? Oh, no. Okay. Uh, <laughs> why does it have to go on me? Okay. Because you're the one talking. Cool, I, I rolled bad, so you. that should You made me give up these freaking rings. I rolled real bad. Yeah. Oh, good. Huh. Okay. Yeah. Maybe this will I be... I rolled a two Neat. plus stuff, so... You will probably 17. Think he's an 17. Asshole. Awesome. Okay. Matt, 17. Hmm. Interesting. Now, I will say, we did have some members in our party previously, but as far as I know, they left before we came to the Underdark. Nice. And do you, can you give me more information on these? Well... To be quite true, she I'm seems very to have turned new. Up the sweetness. I'm very new to um, the Maybe band of miscreants that, <laughs> <laughs> that I've been working with. Um, the guild assigned me to them, and this is only my second journey with them. Yes, but mistress, they said they would catch up to us. Oh, yes, they did. Have they been let in? We have found. One loitering Ray, by the door. Day. <laughs> <laughs> we have found one, we believe, loitering by the door. And, okay. Uh, and <laughs> um, you are like flanked by two death elves mm -hmm. and sort of escorted into the building. <laughs> oh, yes, he is absolutely one of our friends. This one of yours. Okay. Um, <laughs> we're having a lot of problems with demonic forces of late. Oh, great. Uh, and me too. The tiefling. <laughs> <laughs> he said me too. Good times. You brought one with you. That's interesting. <laughs> Tieflings are demonic? Half demonic. They're half demon. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to talk my way out of this. Yeah. <laughs> Probably. No, I'm very well. Actually, no, you just need to like your so, I hate my guy. Yeah. yeah. He is. He's not. He's you not like. He's the Uncle either. Ruckus. Of and then Deep, she. Please. She kind of shifts. Is is this another servant of yours? I'm not a servant. I'm a bodyguard. Yeah. There we go. <laughs> she was assigned to my group. As a need for a cleric. You're a cleric, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. As a need for a cleric. And I have been tasked with the job of protecting her in our adventures. As for your problems with the demon kind, I greatly apologize for that half of my people. And if you need any assistance in anything with them, let me know. We, uh, it's funny you mentioned that. We do. Did, uh, I saw them take him, right? <clears throat> uh... Yes, we'll say yes, because I'm and sure that your they perception have, skills... I mean, I'm reasonably close by, I assume, because I was with him. Mm -hmm. So can I see them? Uh, you, or is it... Can I see where they took him? Yeah, like in into the the skull building, yeah. Okay. How far was it from where I'm at outside? Like the uh, room? You're probably a little further back, so I would say that it's about 50, 60 feet from, from where you are to the entrance of the skull building. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> like the the foot of the stairs. We were just 
uh, having an interesting conversation about eyesight and the like. I'm sure you don't have any need of seeing in the dark. Um, but let's get back to your original issue. And you notice that the two that put her escorted you in are not leaving in any way. There's like there's, there's, they're still kind of standing watch. Mm -hmm. um, so your whole village, uh, city, town, whatever it was, mm -hmm. uh, was was destroyed. Yes. And its members killed mm -hmm. seven years ago. Uh, did you write down <laughs> no, what did God. it? Or is that for me to figure out? Okay. Yeah, there's some ambiguity what? there. <clears throat> Got it. The ruins. The ruins there. Okay. Hmm. I'll have to check. I don't think we had any cleansing that way around that time. So I'm fairly certain it wasn't us, but I can inquire to the higher powers, so to speak, and see if there is any additional information for you. Thank you. While I am doing that, however, you should speak with the leader of <coughs> city if you indeed are willing to help with our demon problem we would be delighted to fantastic uh, well she in, in, in fact she is rather busy at the moment so you'll be speaking with her older brother quick question yes you said that I was 50 or 60 feet away from the opening to the building they're in? Yes. Where exactly in the building are they? Are they in the entryway? They are, um, they're, they're not in the entryway. Middle of the chapel? Kind of in the middle call it. of the chapel area. Okay, but it's a place I could have seen from where he got taken in, right? Yes, I would say that you can see in there. Okay, good. I, I want to shadow step into the middle of the entryway. Okay. Pop up right in the middle? Yes. Cool. All right. <laughs> okay, let's see how this uh, goes. So Alisaria gets a look of surprise. As soon as I pop in, Kyron, we weren't followed. I apologize for our stealthiness. As you can tell, a person of my kind, obviously, is a little leery of all people. Nothing against you. This is my partner, Soren. Uh, we are both tasked with guarding these lovely group of people. Give me a... Deception. Persuasion. That's not a lie, <coughs> technically. Nice. It's not a lie. It's literally our yeah. job to protect yeah. out, of care, <laughs> out of character, though. Yeah. Like every single time I've seen out you Out of character, yeah. though, if me and Bark are her servants, you two are bodyguards, what group is she tasked with? She's tasked with <laughs> healing us while we protect her. I didn't say I worked for them as a bodyguard. I just said we were followed. Oh, uh, <laughs> well, he insinuated. Thirty. Are you implying <laughs> that they're nice. gonna assume something? Dave? All like all of their hands did go to weapons, uh, but they did not draw oh. them. Uh, and you notice that Al Alisaria gives a little hand signal, and they relax, visibly relax. His name. Uh, your name? Sorry. Just said it. Sorry. I missed that. Sorry. I was surprised by your don't. arrival. I'm, I'm in my <sighs> ear. Don't be a fucking asshole. <laughs> I'll kill everyone in this room and you'll like it. No! The, <laughs> as soon as. I, I know it's not. Hopefully not going to pop off, but as, as soon as Rand hears that, he just shakes his sleeves and drops his daggers in his hands just in case. <laughs> the, uh... Oh, okay. Give me a slide of hand check. Oh, like, I just got him strapped in. Okay. It's still slide uh, hand. Call it 10, so 27. Okay, cool. 
<laughs> yeah, that's one of those things. Oh no! <laughs> uh, <clears throat> the individual that you will be conversing with, his name is Jolak. Jolak. It's uh, out of just for your notes. It's J O L A K. He will be in the central building. <clears throat> you, of course, will be escorted there. Thank you very much. Do you have any other questions before I begin my inquiries? Yes, if I were to if I were to make inquiries around the city of where we might find lodging, where would you suggest, mistress? <clears throat> Or ma'am. Mistress is okay. Uh, okay, either way, I didn't know. Yeah. You're a servant. Well, Rain's yeah. bad servant, but yeah, <laughs> he's just... This is the best. <laughs> well, We're going to see how this ends up for you later. I would recommend the... Sexy bed. No, <laughs> there is not a sexy bed. What about the alluring mole, since we're underground? <laughs> no. Uh, the, inn, the inn is called the Black Widow. I would like that. <clears throat> oh, man, why couldn't it be called the Secret Tunnel? <laughs> Secret Tunnel. <laughs> Secret Tunnel. <laughs> oh, my. Just saying. <laughs> Um. Brand dear, would you go and prepay a night's stay for the entire party? Thankfully, that's what I was going to do anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Can you make sure they uh, actually put the uh, no. wine that I put in there? You will be uh, escorted to Sijolek first, and then to your lodgings. Okay. Thank you. Yes. Uh, Rand is pretty much doesn't say anything, so... Yeah. <laughs> You know, in a minute, if this goes south, they're going to be really shocked by what happens with you with the deception checks. Yeah. Because <laughs> <laughs> if all hell breaks loose, you're like going to start throwing daggers and blood <laughs> crossbow. And <laughs> I fucking wow. hear it. He's half demon. <laughs> She's been lying kind of the whole time. Maybe, maybe not. It's a whole you process. Are, uh, you are escorted. Well, actually, I was wanting to inquire. Okay. Obviously, this would have to do with my character's backstory. Sure, sure. So we would have to come up with this plot a little bit later. But Okay. You know, as my character was looking for his father, mm. they were dealing with demons. True. Okay. And I believe we we decided that he was a higher ranking demon. Mm. So when we get to it, obviously not now. You are okay. We are putting it in. Yeah, yeah just just some input. Okay. Does your character know your? Does Tyron know his father's name? Or okay, he just knows he was a high ranking demon. I was sorry. Oh, sh- sorry. I can Do look into that, that as well. Have? Yeah. Hmm? Uh, uh, if you bring that up, uh, mm-hmm. hey, do you do you like actually like tell her about that? I, I she can look into that for you. As yeah, well. that's pretty much what I say. I'm looking for a high-ranking <clears throat> demon who, whatever kind of information I can give, based on the limited uh, knowledge that I have of this. I don't know how demon physiology works, so unless I look like him, okay. Idea. I got you. A purple skin <clears throat> demon with black hair. And Alessaria, one last thing before we part ways. Um, yes. Thank you so much for all your I help today. Oh, and I, I would like to I yeah, present you just, with 20 really sticks really of oh, okay. rare incense <gasps> as well. Um, that is a mighty gift. You have this done mighty evening, good for our group. This evening, I invite you all to see one of our uh, ceremonies. Thank you very much. We will be in attendance. <laughs> we will be. I'd in be attendance. honored for all the help. <laughs> I would be honored for all the help you've given me. <laughs> does she specify what kind of ceremony it is? No. Okay. <laughs> she does not. It's just a dark elf ceremony. Yeah. It's going to be in the Chaldea Temple. Can I roll for history? Sure. What are you? History? I want to know what the fuck we're here to watch. Mm-hmm. They might be. Well, religion. you're not going to do that just yet, but. I want to get an idea. It's an 18. That's pretty good. Um, so you're not... I mean, I don't know the intricacies. It's just yeah, I, I want to get a heads up. Super familiar. Um, 
basically what it is is they use uh, like you put unzipping program on there. Give me just a second. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta mm, think yeah, about what that's gonna be. Can you send it as a yeah, I hope we can watch somebody's head get cut video. off. Okay, so <laughs> oh, this is great from a life priestess. I mean, <laughs> balance, right? Uh, uh, so balance. Chaldea, as you know, is the goddess of death, right? Um, what it is, because they do oversee the veil frequently, is they're going to call forth a guardian of the veil and inquire as to what is uh, like have have a discussion essentially as far as where where that stands if there's anything that needs to be done etc. Does Benumber have any connection to Chaldea? Not in any sort of uh, official like official sense. Obviously Penumbra is a group that specifically kills people. Uh, so there are some that are members of Penumbra that follow Chaldea, but generally, no. Alright, cool. Yeah. Just checking. Yeah. Or piss off their own people and get fired. <laughs> right. You know. Right. <laughs> that would be no bueno. So you're escorted out. And you kind of head toward the main building. That's long in my, in There's a that big stalagmite. Yeah, yeah. There's there's a centralized entryway, and it does in fact open up to this. This area is called the pit. Uh, it is an arena of sorts. A lot of places have arenas because it's an easy way to entertainment. It's going to the movies for it's, medieval yeah. people. <laughs> it's, it is entertainment. It's a way to um, reduce the overhead cost of prisons uh, because you kill Just send them to the fight. members yeah. and such. Uh, a number of different things there. Um, you're escorted not through or into the arena proper, but there's kind of a stairwell off to the side that goes up, and you're you're led into an office and sitting behind a very nice, uh, obviously surface-built desk is... So it's not made from rock, or it's made from wood? And yeah. yeah. Uh, is a death elf who... One thing that you've noticed as well is that basically every death elf is bald. They keep their heads shaved as a, uh, a token or a sort of religious following to look more skull-like. Okay. You actually notice a few that have gone the extra step and have had their ears and noses removed. So they look they went full Voldemort. Really so, so they look more skull -like. little spin those skull -like. the crotches, whole thing. Uh, and have like tattoos of varying degrees and the like. Uh, Jolak actually has, uh, he has a little bit of hair. And like a crown or um, like male pattern bald style? Is it a skullet? Or? Please tell me it's a skullet. No, it's it's like a military cut. Okay. It's short. High and tight. Cropped. Uh, he doesn't look happy though. Very, very well. He has very ornate robes that have lightly blowing runes all upon them. You've never seen a robe like this before. He also has a staff on the end of which is a uh, red crystal. Sort of substantial red crystal. It is not, obviously, you know, so we've got the so, stereotypical the death watch. elf mage in front of us. Yes. Looking guy. He has. This is old Jolak. It's Jolak, yeah. yes. He has a series of, of paperwork Jolak. on his desk, and behind him, there are uh, there are five containers of Technos of different colors. One's the sort of default light blue, 
One is a sort of grayish. It's like stone, the stone attuned technos. You've seen all of these colors before. Yeah. Uh, there's the black, which is necrotic. Is it the plain blue? Uh, right. There's regular so, technos. So there's blue, which is like unattuned. unattuned. Yeah. There's stone, necrotic. Uh, there's one that's acid and one that is fire. So uh, you have a whole plethora of things. And behind that, well, I guess off the side of that is a, uh, it's like a flat surface of stone that has chalk markings on it, like a chalkboard kind of thing, and it has a lot of arcane notes and the like in it. Uh, Formulae and such? Yeah. Okay. If you wanted to make an arcana check, you could potentially see I've got a little arcana. What that is. I'm not trained though, and yeah, that would have been nine. Or er, not even nine. Seven. Sixteen. Okay. <clears throat> arcana rolls? Sure, why not? Yeah, sure. Uh, what if you roll a 20? 17. 17, 17, okay, cool. Uh, he's working on a new type of uh, spell. Do we know what it is? It isn't super clear as to what it is. Uh, it has to do with like the elements that you see in the the Technos tubes. Do we recognize any of the components that aren't in the Technos tubes? Well, um, it actually looks like he is trying to rework the fireball to do other types of damage besides fire. So like other elemental? Ice ball. Yeah. Ball so like death ball. <laughs> Blue that ball. That kind of stuff. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yes. Wow. <laughs> That's the worst one. He is a... Uh, That's 40 is, D6. He's, he's, to testicular he's, he's damage. On testicular trauma. <laughs> Ow. <Yo. laughs> Babe, you can go home now. Um, you're walking. Do not call a cab. Do not call an Uber. We'll Dude. tell them what you did. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Oof. <laughs> okay. Huh? Oh, hi. I'll sand it. It's my friend. So we let in front of this guy. Yeah. And there's some of the sign language stuff done. So. No. Yeah. <laughs> Hand drive. You are here to help with the trouble we're having. Although, it is not your original purpose here. Now, why would you be willing to help us? Surely, it's not out of the <clears throat> kindness of your hearts. We're friendly. We had, you know, I, I <laughs> had a bit of an epiphany speaking with Alisaria, and it was about balance. And one can only achieve balance and expect good to come from the world if they also put good back into the world. And you all were so kind as to restore my ster my servant's eyesight and have welcomed us with open arms. And I think that it's the least that we can do to help in any way that we can while we're here, if we expect help from you as well. She's so much better at that. Man, I see why you have him group. carrying your stuff. <laughs> 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 mm -hmm. Interesting. And you hear a uh, kind of a hissing noise, and from underneath the desk, a uh, okay. Okay. skeletal snake crawls up, then like kind of curls around his his shoulder, and this is like oh, looking at you great. guys. What a lovely familiar you have there. <laughs> What's his name? Yes. Um, yes. Yes. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Damn. That's not a thing. It's Nagini. No, I'm just kidding. Nagini, that's what I was thinking. No, <laughs> no it's, it's not that. Although, that's a great reference. Uh, I don't know. What will his name be? Give me a second. His name generator. Graydon. 
His name is Inserion. Inserion. 